Welcome to Smoked Out TV Reactions, where we elevate your viewing experience with a little extra buzz. Join me simply talking as we light up, chill out, and dive into the wildest reactions on the web. Get ready to blaze through entertainment like never before on Smoked Out TV Reactions, where high reactions meet high times. Yep, yep, yep. What up, what up, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Simply Talking back again. With Smoked Out TV Reactions, man. This one here, we got the good old Cointel Pro. Cointel Pro. Whack 100. I just been constantly seeing this man go at the Prince family. And, uh, I think the way he going at them is Cointel Pro. You know, he had the fake FBI call. Then he said Jay Prince, he was going, he had some audio where some lady said Jay Prince got arrested. Then he lied about J. Prince mother house being shot up. Why are you making these type of accusations against this man? But we got the audio also where these guys, uh, J. Prince and J. Prince Jr. responds. To Cointel Pro, CS2 back, lies. These guys ain't nothing but liabilities, man. And why is he coming at this man with the feds? Y'all not paying attention? He coming at them with the feds. Making fake phone calls. And we just sitting back and believing everything he's saying, huh? Well, let's get into this here. Let's get into uh, James Prince first talking about what happened to him some years ago. They finally caught the two DEA agents assigned to take my life over a decade ago. The two, Jack Schumacher and Chad Scott, were both mentioned on two songs, Look Into My Eyes, and gangster shit by Scarface. We put the spotlight on the so-called gangster DEA agent years ago because of their threats on my life and many other criminal acts they committed. I hired an investigator to investigate Jack Schumacher and discovered that he had killed eight people on duty. This is highly unusual for an officer to use his weapon so many times. As an officer, he was never convicted of murder and was promoted from officer to a DEA agent only to kill more. So the hitman and his sidekick, Chad Scott, were assigned to destroy me and Rock Light Records around the same time Murder, Inc. and Death Row was being attacked by law enforcement agencies. Now, so Jay Prince really did have the, uh, well, not the FBI, but the DEA, and that's close enough. They're going to end up somehow getting with the FBI. Something to happen. <laughs> but, um, but so he was already, you know what I'm saying, being attacked by these people, the DEA and all this stuff right here he got going on. And they're trying to take down Rapper Live Records and stop him like he, they did Murder, Inc. and Death Row. Cointel Pro. I'm telling you, that's Cointel Pro, man. That's Cointel Pro. So now what we're going to get into is the audio call that WAC received from the feds, the federal brewer, which is the way that <laughs> 
He spelled it on the fake phone call. He didn't spell it Federal Bureau. He spelled it Federal Bureau, like Bureau. He put an R in the front. Like, that's supposed to be his missed call log, and that's supposed to be the text on the screen. Let me put this up real quick. So y'all see that. Let me make this bigger. So y'all see that. Y'all see that on the screen. Y'all see his missed call where the federal brewer, <laughs> the federal brewer call. And they was trying to get some information. But uh, let's listen to this federal brewer call from Agent Renee Klein. I just can't get past the the, the federal bureau call. <laughs> hey man, y'all might hear my wash machine in the back there, but hey, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do what I gotta do. But um, yeah, man, let's listen to this phone call and please, definitely, please tell me in the in the comments, man, what y'all think about this call, man. Tell me what y'all think about this call. <laughs> Who got this thing? Play that. You want me to play it? Play it. You niggas need to know how to deal with this. They say that situation. Play that. Play that. Uh, everybody need to know how y'all deal with this. Y'all know me and this nigga don't see eye to eye, but now I see how niggas get caught up. Chilling with the answers. Just say any gangsta type thing, then? I mean, I don't, I wouldn't have no information other than just being helping with a lot of Uber projects. Okay, yes, sir. Well, that's what I'm kind of uh, wanting to talk to you about. Okay. Well, what's wrong with me working on a Larry Hoover project? No, sir. I, no, nothing. Nothing wrong whatsoever with it. Uh, I'm. I'm glad someone is, is advocating for him. That that wasn't the issue. Um, I was just. Um, information has co been provided that you had some disagreements with Mr. Clint. Are you familiar with him? Uh, I mean, I know who he is, but I don't have no issues with Mr. Clint. Okay. So, um... I mean, a disagreement is a disagreement. I don't know how that factors in the FBI. Well, I, I think Mr. Mr. Jones, uh, uh, all the YouTube videos going back and forth with him calling you a snitch and you calling him one and, 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 all, of, and, and all of that. Okay. Where we received information that there was possibly a disagreement. Yeah, well, uh, even if we did do that, why would, why would that be... Do... Uh, 
I don't feel threatened. Um, uh, I've said to him the same things he said to me, and that's just two men saying things. Uh, I don't think it's that serious of a situation. As far as I know, Mr. Prince is uh, continuing his business in his community. As I am, I don't even understand. Like I said, I don't know what you guys have going on and what you guys heard. That's above my, you know, my reach. But me personally, you no, know, I haven't got any threats, nor do I feel threatened by the man. Okay, so are y'all working together on the Free Larry Hoover project? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, so what are you working on? Um, the ownership of the project is not mine. It belongs to somebody else. Okay. I'm just a system as an individual. No, I, I did I did put the uh, attorneys in contact with their with their family attorney, so at this point, uh, it's not even a conversation between me and Jay Prince. It's a conversation between the individual who owns the contract on my side, the attorney, and their uh the Hoover family attorney. So it's you know, for the last month or so you haven't heard uh me and Mr. Prince uh, say really anything to each other because there's no need to. Okay, understandable. Mr. Jones, was there ever, I know there was a, um, a, I don't know, she, did she record an interview? I, I don't have her name, uh, present, but she's out of LA, um, and, and she recorded a video with Mr. Hoover at one time. Are you, are you familiar with that? Uh, come out of recording a video with Mr. Hoover? Or an interview. She conducted an interview. Oh, well, yeah, we have five hours of interview. Yes, sir. And yes, at any point... Okay, and it was a female, correct? I don't have her name with me at this exact moment. Yes, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an elderly woman that owns it. Yes, yes, sir. And, and let me ask you this. Have, have you ever heard of any information that uh, Mr. Prince or his associates has... Um, I tried to request that information, the, the video from her. Oh no! Like, well, what? I was in the, I, I mean, I'm the one that alerted him that the uh, footage was was real and tried to merge and deal um, with them because they own the night rights. This is the rights of a regular uh, documentary that was recorded while he was in prison. So um, I just tried to bring the two parties together. Um, to see if they can do one, do a, make it one big situation. Uh, yes, sir. And so who owns the right to that, to that you know, you know, the lady that, the lady who has the footage, she has the contract. I have the contract, I forward the contract to the family attorneys. Um, um, she, she's, she's been on here since 1998. Yes, sir. And did Mr. Prince attempt to get the right to that interview? Uh, no, he tended to negotiate a deal or possible. And the negotiations are still going on. But okay. I think mean, that's just business. Nothing wrong with him negotiating. Oh, absolutely not. I'm, I'm not implying that whatsoever. Just some information that we received was that, um, that, uh, the, the documentary, the, the businesswoman didn't want to really give up the documentary and, uh, possibly could have been pressured to do so. No, I don't, I don't know anything about her being pressured. Um, she had a conversation on my phone. It was just a simple business conversation. Uh, when you're doing business, there's always offers. You know, either you're going to accept the offer or you're going to continue to negotiate. So as of right now, we're still negotiating. She, she negotiates with just the two attorneys are talking and they're figuring it out. Other okay. than that, it's, it's, um, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Prince has been a close friend to uh, the Hoover family. He's done a lot of business, I've seen a lot of business, so the man is well in his right to attempt to negotiate. But that's all it was with negotiations. No more, no less. Okay, well, I, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for talking to me. Um, if you want to keep my number and anything uh, that you want to ask me, I'm available to you. Okay, and I'm going to be reaching out to Yo, wow. 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 Let it keep playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exclusive in the B. Yo, keep playing. 
He talking too much on that telephone. Everybody meet up. Yo, Everybody meet up. up. <laughs> Y'all gotta know how to And so we just have to follow up. And so I, I just thought I would talk to you directly instead of, you know, How you handle it. That's I don't a give a way to handle the enemy it. or not. You don't never cooperate. Killing with the answer. And I'm knowing they getting at me because they heard something on his side. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That's a fact. You already know that. The way she said that and that everything. crazy. All they wanted me to say is I felt that way and ain't got away. Yeah, she already knew that. She was looking for the slip up. The slip up of one where you said something wrong. She was looking for that. You know, there's bump or somebody around him, but they always lie. One or two, somebody. But she said that they got the information. Somebody, yeah. Somebody around him, wherever them conversations he having, it then got back. Now she probably. Yeah, man. So y'all heard that weird conversation, right? Y'all heard that, right? It it, it didn't even make no sense, but uh, and y'all see this right here where you know it's a bureau. Bureau, federal bureau. So that was the missed call he got. That was supposed to be his call log. <laughs> hey, and if he really did call the Houston uh, FBI, then he definitely telling man, there's some co and tail pro shit. He's definitely telling man if he called the FBI. Why would you call the FBI back and then have a, a damn near 15, 10, 15 minute conversation with them about this man? And instead of having your attorneys, which you say that do everything for you, why not have them call him, call that number back? And once you once you find out it's the uh, FBI, why you ain't just say, all right, well, I'm going to have my attorneys call y'all. And why would the FBI be texting your phone? That's that's weird. 
How they get your number to text your phone? COINTEL PRO. CS2 back. Confidential informant. Now, in this one here, he didn't got somebody to say that Jay Prince got arrested. I'm trying to figure out, like, why are you on this bad head like that? Pause. Why are you on this man's head like that, man? That man ain't even bother you. Once you once you start talking that FBI stuff, Jay Prince left you alone. And everybody know that. Once you start talking, he was he was going in on you at first. As soon as you talk about that, uh, you send him a message from a fake FBI call. Man, now you know why people be leaving you alone, man. You the police. You got this police shit, man. Mark Stevens give uh, Big U the paperwork. You see us too back. Big U leave you alone. Leave Big U leave you alone. Don't don't deal with you no more. You attack him. Jay Prince, Jay Prince just going in on you, just talking about you on and calling you Rat One Hundred and things like that. I forgot that Jay Prince was the one that made up that calling you Rat One Hundred, and you get mad. You get so mad that you make up a fake FBI phone call. So that's like alerting the FBI without alerting the FBI. And then bring it to a clubhouse where you know your people going to put it on YouTube. And you tell them you happy did it. Yeah, play that man so we get uh so I can show y'all how to do it if you know if y'all ever get in that situation. Knowing damn well none of them niggas ain't gonna never get in that situation. Come on, bro. This is some bullshit. So this next one here, man, he say that uh Jay Prince got arrested. And Jay Prince respond as well. Let's go. Okay, it is confirmed, okay? I don't know about Jay Prince Jr. yet, but Jay Prince has definitely been arrested, y'all, okay? My sources are saying he was put in handcuffs and taken into custody, y'all, okay? And they're also saying that the feds have put the remaining Migo, okay, under protective custody by the feds. All right, y'all. Now, word on the street is someone turned over information to the feds on Jay Prince. And they're saying that the reason that he got arrested was because of the video that he made and he, okay, to offset. All right, y'all. So this is why he was arrested so far. I don't know what else is going on, but when I get some more information, I will let you all know. But it is definitely a fact. He has been arrested, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. Y'all? I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on. Wag, they called you months ago, so whatever it was, it was probably They already that, right? was on it. They been yeah. on it. That's what I'm saying. I just think... Beast, you got the content of the Fed call to me, right? They've been on it already. No, I don't have that. They, phone. I don't have that one. I don't have. Uh, that. I got you. Got it. That's oh, I got it. Got it now. I got it now. I know you got it. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, they've been on it. That let me know. I said, yo, they on it. They don't, either he got Smith telling or gifting, or his phones is hot. That call came from because somebody over there was plotting. They on it, and when they own you, they listen to everything. Now, I was because the hey. first thing they asked you, right? Huh? The first thing she came off the mic and asked you, right? Uh, do you got any problems with Jay Prince? Or you feel any type of you feel threat, me? like all like that? The threat they went to you, bro. Listen to me, they only by whatever reason when the feds is doing that. Well, they didn't took time to have a mother in the box in the sign, of, they own you. I was just a topping if I was gonna give it to them. They got the pizza already. They got the pizza. They got the box. You going in it. 
And you was saying why you was like, man, he's doing too much talking. You been said too that. much hollering. But I believe he already been with him. I just think they tired of him. If I believe. I could be wrong. So you think that interview unk was the last row on the camera's back? No, I just think I think see you gotta remember you got federal hey, one thing about the feds, they control our country when it comes to that. So check it out. So you got an agency tied to Jay Prince and they on him, right? Whatever they on him about. Well, Okay, we've been on him two years, three years, four years, whatever. So far, we got this, 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 this. We can run an arrest, but you know what? We want to get some more. Right? Let him keep running. Keep running, keep running. running, running. Or even if he's working with him, right? But then next thing you know, you get a federal agent from Atlanta. A Tennessee call. Yo, check this out. We got a CI on the wiretap. They talking about they planning on... Then you get another from California. Hey, we getting wiretaps. They talking about... Whoop, 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 whoop. You may want to go get your target. That's why they picked six nine up. They heard talking about him when he did the show in Connecticut. That's the only reason why they picked him up. You talking about Jim Jones? He was on that wiretap saying, "You know, handle." No, nah, really on there talking about blood got to show up in Connecticut. We gonna go see. Him. Oh yeah, don't that dent them on the That's movie. why they picked him up. Go get, bring him in. <clears throat> so you know they they could have went and came and got him for many different reasons. Now that's a fact. That's a fact. No one when they own you, they own you know. They know. He's just trying that's to pick it together, man. Fans ain't coming to get you on no threat. That ain't this. Listen. It been a attempted something on me. You never bro, he's running their mouth and talking to this man. You know you never know, bro. Hit for hire is bad. Yeah, that's for sure. If it was, I'm gonna get a package every month for being a dummy. At least I can do, bro. Get a, yeah, all you gotta do is order a Call book in there for, book dumb. for the dummies. <laughs> dumb, dumb, foo foo the third. Never know, but we're gonna run the content. Hey, bro. This is what happens. When you let a false reality get to your mind, bro, and you start thinking you're bigger than the program. Bro, I'm telling y'all, yo, Beast, that call I got from the FBI was because they heard something, bro. They heard That's something the on their side, bro. Now, what I did to the bozo is put it up and I sent it to him. Hey, Bozo, chill out. They on you. Try another way. You and your people doing too much talking. But once again... But yeah, you did text it to him. Yeah, I sent it to him. <clears throat> I sent him the whole... Yeah, I it. I'm trying to look for the what's the name um, for the uh, for the uh, text message. Now, I don't know if she capping with this. The Migos being put up on the witness protection. That don't even make sense. Nah, no, none of none of this shit is making sense, bro. You think about it. Nothing you saying is making sense now. Y'all ain't even peep at the uh at the end of that when he said, uh, see? See what happened when you think you bigger than a program? And he sure do know a lot about how the feds work and never been to the feds. Don't he know a lot of information on how the feds work and never been to the feds? Confidential source number two. Cointel Pro ass nigga. Come on, man. That whole conversation and them jokers being that junk. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's even a dude in there from, from Houston. How you gonna grow up on Jay Prince and come to Clubhouse and nut hugs a, a, a random dude that ain't even really who he is man this t let won't y'all ask him who put him on because from what i'm hearing from the bacoin or pyrus they saying that uh he, you wouldn't he wouldn't he never put on who put him on tell him ask who put him on 
And y'all know how it was to get put on back then. It wasn't none of this whatever they do now. Back then, you was getting the beat down. <laughs> you was running them fades. But, uh, so yeah, man, we got Jay Prince response to this craziness about him being in jail and that's just a whack way of building up more information on him to the police or whatever. He must have heard about the uh, DEA trying to um, get um, J Prince down. And, you know, man, come on, man. Come on, y'all. This dude, COINTEL Pro to the core. He part of the Rico boys. They getting Ricos every other month. But they ain't talking about them. They talking about everybody else, Rico. But they ain't talking about their own Rico. But this shit is COINTEL Pro to the core, man. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. This shit is COINTEL Pro. Like, you know, he, he the loudest. He say the craziest stuff and everything or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Who sent you, nigga? Who sent you, nigga? Who sent you, man? You not part of us. You not part of us, man. Who the hell sent you, nigga? Who sent you, bro? God damn, this nigga Cointel Pro, man. But y'all just be falling in love with this bullshit. And we be bringing it to y'all, man. Damo Kiwi Conversations. That girl, Henny. Scandalous Los Angeles and Smoked Out TV. We be bringing it. Bringing y'all the proof. And y'all still don't believe it. Y'all still be over that joint. <laughs> nut hugging and nut dick sucking like some weirdos, man. This shit crazy, man. Let's get the Jay Prince uh, response, man. <laughs> you know, uh, this should be funny to me, y'all. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, man. Uh, uh, uh. What have this shit come down to in the world today? You know what I mean? It's uh, I can't believe people uh play with people intelligence the way they play with people intelligence and intellect. You know the way they do today. You know people. Uh, Telling lies for a living. You know what I mean? They actually lying to y'all for a living. But as you can see, you know what I mean? Uh, live in a living color. This is what my my jail cell look like. <laughs> you know what I mean? For, for all y'all want to See what it look like. This is this, this is what the cell look like. Shit, they can keep me here 24 seven. I'm good. But uh, it's a beautiful day. Let me read some of my comments. One one dude asking why I talk so slow. I'm a down south southern nigga, man. You know what I mean? We don't talk fast. We don't talk slick. You know what I mean? We say what we mean and mean what we say. We ain't no rush to speak. I'ma answer a few of y'all questions then. I'ma I'm have to go about my business. You see, I'm just relaxing. Letting God's air blow on my face. In a sucker free environment. I'm going to say I can't come to Atlanta. I just left Atlanta. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm on the West Coast now. You know, uh, y'all got to stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with yourself and fooling yourself and, and listening to all these lies 
and different things because you know all these liars all of these uh, YouTube pranksters and different things they ain't nothing like they claim to be just know that they live in their kitchen and in their, their bedroom they, they can't even walk down the street but uh it is what it is. Now, I like that one. Somebody say, free the old man. Yeah, we working on that all day, every day. You know what I mean? Against all odds, and it's a matter of time, he will be free. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they are. Uh, what just say? They clout chasing. I guess that's what they call it. Huh? To all my youth out there, I want y'all to know, ain't nothing for, ain't nothing but love. Where all of y'all concerned with me, you know, those of y'all that know how to think. Some of y'all don't know how to think. Some of y'all, you know what I mean, uh, fall for anything. Those that, that know how to think, and I'm going to represent it like I always have to try to keep y'all grounded and inspired, you know, because, uh, Ain't nothing y'all can't do, ain't nothing that can't be accomplished. You know, y'all put y'all mind to it. And I want to be an example to inspire and motivate y'all to do just like, just that like I always have. But uh, y'all stop listening to these people that lie for a living. You know what I mean? Imagine having a life. You have to wake up every day and to figure out what lie you're going to tell on a real nigga or on the hip-hop culture. You know, a lot of these people are so jealous of the rappers and the hip-hop culture because they want to be y'all. Just to, just to be real clear about it, they want to be y'all. You know what I mean? A lot of anim animosity is in the, in the hearts of individuals uh, where the hip-hop culture is concerned, but that ain't nothing new. It always existed. You know, just a lot of claim. clowns got mics they can speak on now to let it be known. Just stay focused. Just stay on y'all grind, and for those of y'all that haven't became millionaires, yet it's just a matter of time. You know what I mean? Because we laid that foundation for y'all to build off of. And uh, it's a matter of time. One love. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Shout out to Jay Prince, man. For even responding to that nonsense or whatever, man. You know, I, I once heard a man say that uh, the internet is a sucker's safety net. The internet is a sucker's safety net. Ultimate, ultimate safety net. That's what he says. A sucker's ultimate safety net. And I got to agree with that one there. <laughs> and it's some co-intel pro stuff going on. But uh, like Jay Prince said, man, y'all got to stop listening to these people that Life for a living. Y'all constantly listening, listening to a man that lies for a living. And people is constantly exposing this, but y'all constantly holding on, man. Y'all constantly holding on. Y'all just won't let go like this man is going to be y'all savior. When he's getting people arrested, COINTEL PRO. Now, here's the next one that's some real weird, crazy stuff, and I wouldn't wish this type of thing on nobody's mother. So now he's making up 
story that he's getting messages from people in Houston that's mad at Jay Prince or whatever. And uh, they so mad that they shot up his mother's house in the fifth ward of Houston. And uh, I'm not, I'm going to just let him, I'm going to just let him lie to y'all and tell y'all what happened. And then I'm going to let y'all hear Jay Prince respond. And y'all tell me which one make more sense. The lie or the naked truth. How my man Mark Stevens said, whack is the well-dressed lie and big U is the naked truth. There we go. Let's go. The granny passed away. Shooting happened last night. These is all inside they circle sending me the content. All of them. But he said this is upset, angry. I watched the whack 100 Clubhouse clip. I told y'all the dude is crazy and obsessed with me and my family. He had nothing going well for him. So he jumps on that police platform to talk crazy lies about my family. Niggas felt like it's a misrepresentation of the city. He got in the city saying, yo, this nigga got us looking to everybody else like we scared. He said, how the f we looking scared and he looking like the biggest the giant, but that ain't the case. Now niggas robbing us and hitting us with loaded dice. He said, these niggas is rebelling. He said, them got picked up, 88 people whacked. You came on Clubhouse and said, yo, a bo Jew, she overheard Jay Prince Jr. talking on the phone, talking about between 80 and 100 people finna get swept. Heard that nigga get on the phone, call his man, told him to stay out the way. I just got a call for them people. He said, whack, the next day, nigga, it went down. Everybody heard you, bro. The next day, the sweep happened. 88 people. Is losing respect for Jay Prince. They shot his mama house up last night in Fifth Ward. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. What up, mama Jeez. house got shot up in Fifth Ward, so they losing respect. That's breaking news. Like another, thing, another, whack. <clears throat> another thing, another update over there. And since I released the information of the Loaded Dice crew with Jay Prince Jr., that whole block over there been shut down. No motion. Man said, there's a lot of niggas in the hood mad about them Loaded Dice you exposed. Gambling Shack in the barbershop has no action. I said, so I slow. I said, so we slowed down? Slowed that down? He said, stop the whole operation. Ain't no action on Liberty Road when it comes to gambling. That's dead. My people told me it was like when G Money had to shut down the corner on New Jack City. He said they shot his mama house up last night at Fifth Ward. They trying to keep it under the wraps. They shot his mama house up. People was mad that Jay Prince Jr. got the boy Mikey Mike from running his mouth. He said a lot of shit is going the other way on him. They, all they exposing on him is starting to show people he ain't who they thought he was. Yeah, this nigga sent me the whole book on why dude got... That's nasty work. Oh, no, yeah, they shot his ground. They shot, that's his mama. He said, mama always still living in Fifth Ward. Shot her mama. shit up last night. So that means that city losing respect. You know what's next. They're going to try him. They say his son and went, to, and went to Florida since the loaded dice. Niggas is mad. You know how I many niggas ain't lost a bunch of money around that behind that loaded dice? He said, whack, they just wasn't doing it with the celebrities. Nigga, when it was regular day motion, they was doing it at the gambling shack. The same three niggas was passing the dice, hitting them niggas, and niggas is upset. You know how I many niggas lost their rent money, mortgage money, car money, all kind of shit. He said, niggas is mad. It's bad work going on. Y'all will be mad as a piece He said, man, city ain't dice. been the same. J. Prince Jr., damn near moved to Miami, ain't been back since you, since you started to expose him. He said, think about how many regular street niggas that took losses at the gambling shack with them loaded dice. Niggas lost their house deeds, all type of shit in them. All, all I house. know is them niggas That's utilizing their influence, nigga, to bait the celebrities that came into town and then take them through there and get them hit with the loaded dice. J. Prince Jr. keep keeping 30% of the cut. And then turn around and charge them for security because they was moving around the city. Lineup was real. So he double dipping on them. He triple dipping. Yep. yep. Spending your and budget money. And then turn around and ask the artist for a free verse. So you spending their budget money, You you they buying security from you, and you tapping them in the head when they hit the dice again. Yeah, them, them Houston niggas, bro, they might have been naive, but bro, they shot dude mama house up last night. They shot Jay Prince mama house up last night. So that's Junior's grandmama. Damn. 
That's bad work right there, bro. That shit, that that right there, that turned into something else. You know what that, like you said, why? You know what come next? But this supposed to be, this supposed to be the boogeyman. How the boogeyman, Mama House, get shot up? They hit me at yeah. seven fifteen a.m. They said they whack what is worth for the inside scoop of Jay Prince's grandmama house, no, Jay Prince Jr. grandmama's house, which is Jay Prince's mama house, got shot up last night. They spun the block three times in Fifth Ward last night. They gonna try to keep it on, keep it quiet like they did Junior's loud mouth getting Mikey Mikey. I got all the info on it too, firsthand. It hit me 7 50 a.m. this morning. Hey, Guap, hey, hey, go the crazy part. They just shot it up. That's the message. They really wanted to do something to win in them. They just sent that message real quick, let you know we on your bumper. Now, listen, bro, a lot of shit going on. This nigga say you wanna start this relationship with the details of last night's shootings in his own hood. I cannot fucking believe we got a At the house he had custom built for his grandmother And now his aunt and uncles live at since the granny passed away Shooting happened last night These niggas is all inside they circle Sending me the content All of them But he said niggas is upset, niggas is angry Niggas felt like it's a misrepresentation of the city He got in the city saying Yo, this nigga got us looking to everybody else Like we scared He said, how do we looking scared and he looking like the biggest the giant, but that ain't the case. Now niggas robbing us and hitting us with loaded dice. He said these niggas is rebelling. He said them niggas got picked up, 88 people whack. You came on Clubhouse and said, yo, a Boju, she overheard Jay Prince Jr. talking on the phone, talking about between 80 and 100 people finna get swept. Hurt the nigga get on the phone, call his man, tell him to stay out the way. I just got a call for them people. He said, whack, the next day, nigga, it went down. Everybody heard you, bro. The next day, the sweep happened. 88 people got picked up. He said, it already been speculations. I'm playing both sides. Shit getting ugly out there, but I don't know. Where old broccolini at? Yeah, shit getting ugly. Niggas start doing that. Niggas start doing that. This is lack of respect. Shit crazy. I say in a meeting. I was in here. I heard what you were saying. starting to go the other way, bro. Nah, I heard what you were saying. That's crazy, bro. I don't, I ain't, oh, nah, like five people. Like my hater. I got a hater on here. That's Jay Prince's uh, family. And he listens to us, but he just texts me. And, you know, he'll correct me or he'll be like, nah, you on point with that here. That nigga was like, yo, whack. First of all, he said, that nigga on your stage from Houston must have told you that because that shit just happened. I said, that nigga ain't told me. In fact, he go to the screenshot for where it came from. I had to sit in the screenshot, bro, because I didn't want him to try to put it on you. Like, put I said, Brock ain't told me I'm a dang nigga here. He looked at it. I said, look, there go that. Look, he sent me a picture of J. Prince Jr. Mama. They say she a dope fiend. There go that. There go this. I said, I ain't even read this story because I'm letting this breathe with the Mikey Mike shit. Here go the whole story on how it happened A to Z from the club to the bitch to the this. Who gripped up this, this, that. I see a nigga say, yeah, whack. He said, my family got a back door for sure. But the fact that they shot that nigga Mama house, he said, them niggas is mad at them loaded dice. He said, the whole gambling shit over there on that street been shut down ever since I exposed loaded dice. And niggas is upset. Calling it in, they said, Junior didn't damn near move to Miami. He ain't been back. The niggas is upset. But the fact that a nigga would do that to his Mama house, that shows that niggas is, is going out of the way. Because I would have never thought a nigga would have played with him like that. Not in Fifth Ward. Not yeah, I ain't heard that. Yeah. I ain't heard that yet. Exactly. You ain't heard that. Because it never happened, man. Cointel Pro. Look at these stories, man. He just make up the perfect stories, man. And y'all be over there nut hugging, man. Like all into it. Yeah, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. Oh, man. 88 people got picked up. I can't wait till you get picked up from one of these motherfucking Ricos, nigga. You just sat there and told all them goddamn lies to them people, and they believe you every time. Every time. But I, I bet you was never banking on them ever responding to you, right? But J. Prince Jr. said, he gonna respond to you. And we can't do nothing but respect it. And what he's saying makes sense, man. Everybody know that you're a CS2 back. Cointel Pro. Confidential source number two. We know who you are, nigga. We know who you are. Let me let Jay Prince Jr. talk to you, man. Ignorant ass nigga. Back 100 Clubhouse clip. I told y'all the dude is crazy and obsessed with me and my family. He had nothing going well for him. 
So he jumps on that police platform to talk crazy lies about my family. How the fuck does he think that my granny's still living over there in the hood? That man does nothing else but to spread lies and hate. I reached out to one of his big homies and they told me he'd been battling with mental issues. That's why he talks the way he does. Damn it, whack. You do need some serious help, fool. I can recommend you to someone to help you out, bro. The police informant is now all over people's business. After you ran out of content ideas, Prince Family became your next line of topics that helps you drive crazy views on Clubhouse and YouTube. Damn it, whack. I heard your big homie's been looking for you over there in Cali because of some issues you've been dealing with after you fucked up your game with the gang. I also heard you abandoned your project because the goons kept tracking you down. But you want to be all over other people's business. None of your paid sources knows anything about my fam. They're obviously extorting money from you, feeding you with fake information. My granny is living in a mansion in one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the country. She moves like the president too. So tell me how a more fucker will ever get close to her house and shot it up? That's some crazy ass cheap lies and fake rumors, fool. I've been in my city for weeks now and doing business over there in Miami because I got motions over there too, fool. No nigga is ever thinking about coming close to me or my fam in Houston. So shut the fuck up, fool. Prince family remains untouchable in the city. I know you're just doing your job as a big rat for the feds, hoping I will respond to your craziness so you can have more shit to talk about. Let me give you some game whack. Go get a real job to feed your family and leave the internet the F alone. All the homies in the industry don't F with you anymore cause you a big rat. You got no money coming in. Your business in the industry is crumbling right now. What's left for you? Well, I can give some opportunities to earn a living again. But remember, you have to first resign from working with the law enforcement and confess to all the homies you snitched on and sent to jail because henceforth it will be fire for fire. I never wanted to respond, but I seen that your foolishness is over the roof and I will start addressing it henceforth. Until you stop the madness, RAT100. Y'all should never listen to this man cause all he tells on the internet is cheap lies. And I don't respect those type of niggas, nor do I condone such behavior. Fifth Ward is calm and peaceful. My granny doesn't stay over there and nobody shot at her house. Rat 100 should have shown y'all the proof of what he's talking about. So next time y'all should ask him to show some proofs before you start running with all that fake ass speculations on the internet. Yes. And that's a fact, man. That's a fact, man. Y'all sit up there and let this dude run all this fake content on these people, man. And try to expose them. But really be exposing their goddamn self, man. Look more and more like the goddamn police to me. Cointel Pro. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And I'm out. Peace. Thanks for getting lit with us on Smoked Out TV Reactions. Remember, the fun doesn't stop here. Hit that subscribe button and join our high-flying community for more smoking hot reactions and good vibes. Until next time, stay lifted and keep the good times rolling on Smoked Out TV Reactions.